Best Friends Forever Part 2. The next day was another busy day for us engines. While some of us did our regular jobs, others were collecting supplies for Sir Tom Hat's birthday party. But unbeknownst to us, Diesel was lurking in the shadows, ready to strike. <laughs> this will be fun. <laughs> Flatten my funnel. W what was that? <gasps> oh no, the banners! Oh dear. Who could have done such a thing? Eh, time to play. Oi, you! Huh? Bother, he got away. Thomas, Percy, you won't believe what just happened. What? I just saw James crash into your freight cars. On purpose. Huh? James, you say? But why would James do this to us? I'm not sure. Maybe it has to do with the fallout that you guys had yesterday? How do you know about that? I was there. You saw me. Oh, right. So, uh, what are you gonna do? I can go teach him a lesson if you like. I can also tell Sir Topham how- No, it's okay. Thanks, Diesel. But me and Percy will deal with it ourselves. Come on. Whatever you say, Thomas. Eh. Okay, so, the next time I see Emily... All I have to say is sorry to her, right? Yes. Oh, well, that's a relief. Because I wrote this whole speech about her last night. What? Well, an apology speech, that is. You don't need this. Well, yeah, I know now, since all I had to do was just say sorry to her, right? Yes, because we're friends. I mean, I didn't think we were just friends. What? Nothing. Hmm. <laughs> Shaboot it! Ah! <clears throat> oh! oh, the indignity. <laughs> <clears throat> Ow! Oh, my coaches! My cars! Wait, why am I upset about that? James! Gordon! It's Gord! I just saw Thomas and Emily biff and bash into your rolling stock! Huh? Emily and Thomas, you say? Yes, I, I tried to stop them, but they wouldn't listen to me. They said that they want to pay you out for the things you said yesterday. <clears throat> well then, we'll be the ones paying them out. Come on, Gordon! I need a little help. Oh, he's gone. Emily, I just saw James shunting into you. In a bad way, okay? Not in a you-know-what way. James, you say... Uh-huh. James. Things didn't get better after that. Later on that day, when Emily saw James, she gave him a biff. <laughs> oh! And when James saw me, he gave me a bump. Crap. Ow! Pretty soon, all the engines started biffing and bashing and being bumped all over Sodor. Yee-ow! Look out Die! Ah! 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 Spruce! Ah! The engines were all in a terrible mess, just pretending that they're dirty. Everyone needed a good washdown. And no work had been done. That evening, Sir Tom Hatt came to see the engines. He was furious. You have all calls, dare I even say it, confusion delay today. I have gotten multiple phone calls today from both passengers and staff of derailed and damaged goods and goods trains. Wait a minute, I said a roll. Just derailed and damaged everything. 
The only engine who did some real work around here was Billy. Haha, <laughs> eat these nuts, suckers! Yes, I will. Wait, wait, Billy! Uh oh. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in the no longer used character scrapyard. Oh, well, you, you, you see, the thing is, uh, I was all like, <laughs> Whatever, I'll deal with him later. Anyways, I am very disappointed in all of you. Except for you three. I'm proud of what you did today. You get the day off tomorrow. Yee! But as for you lot, you will all work twice as hard tomorrow with your duties. Understand? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Very well. Good night. Hey, Billy! Oh, oh. Emily? This was all your fault! Me? If you and Thomas didn't bash into me and Gordon and cause all of us to go bonkers, none of this would have happened! That's bollocks! We didn't cause this, James! You did! Yeah. Bullcrap! You're a liar. Shut up, Percy! Shut up, Gordon! Percy did nothing! Go burn a fire tree! That's hurtful, James! I wasn't talking to you, you green knucklehead! Hey there, Diesel. I heard the great news. Oh, it certainly was great, Diesel 10. I managed to make the whole island turn on each other. Okay, well, not the whole island, but most of it. That's good, Diesel. Very good indeed. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna get some rest bashing some of those engines around damaging my buffers. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. What if Paxton knows about our plan? Oh, no worries about him, Diesel 10. I took care of him this morning. <laughs> so, you don't need to worry about him foiling our plans. Okay, that's good. Or should I say, bad? <laughs> no, just, just no. You should feel ashamed of yourself. Sorry. <sighs> What if your friends just don't want to be friends, but you need to believe it's not really the end. And you've been pulled apart, but you know in your heart that you want to reach out, but don't know where to start. I really regret the things that we said. It's hard to forget, but I hope that we will be friends. Tomorrow, right to the end, and then we will wipe away tears and sorrow, if we can be friends again, ooh. I remember the way we would hang out all day. And whatever we did always turned out okay. One thing is for sure, and everyone knows that we should stay close. And I hope that we will be friends tomorrow, right to the end. And then we will wipe away tears and sorrow. If we can be friends, I know it's true. Nothing can last forever, but still, I feel this friendship will last just like in the past. We will be friends tomorrow, right to the end. And then we will wipe away tears and sorrow If we can be friends If we can be friends again The next day, things went back to normal. Well, somewhat normal. All of the engines were very silent today. Friend not talking to friend. Brother ignoring brother. And engines now whistling hello to others. They were all cross. 
I was getting worried on the other hand. I didn't want it to be this way on Sodor for the rest of my life. Especially with Sir Tonhat's birthday very close. So, later on that day after I finished my jobs, I had decided to talk about the problems to Jack. I'm very worried about this, Jack. It only started out as a little fallout, and then it became World War II, but with trains. And right now, everyone's refusing to speak to each other. And at this rate, Sir Tom Hatt's birthday party will have to be cancelled. Do you know what I should do to help out my friends, Jack? Well, you could try and talk things out with your friends. Make them want to forgive each other for what they did. Ha! <laughs> oh, please! Like that would ever work. They're right, Jack. My friends are really angry at each other. Besides, talking things out with them seems a little too cliche for the show. Well, that's about all I could think of. Sorry, Thomas. That's all right, Jack. But if you need some good advice from anyone, you should really be talking to Oliver. He's good with problems like this. Wait, what? Not you, dummy. The excavator. <sighs> okay, then. I guess I'll go talk to Oliver. Where is he? I think he's at Farquhar Station or something like that. I don't know. Okay. Thanks, Monty. And thank you, too, Jack. Good luck, Thomas. Ten bucks bet he doesn't come back with nothing. Deal. And that's pretty much the whole story. Hmm, I see. So, do you have any advice on what I should do to help my friends out, Oliver? Well, how did this fight start in the first place? What, the engine fright from yesterday? Yes, that one. Well, uh, I guess it started out with James bumping into me and Percy and causing our banners to fall down. Mm-hmm. And how do you know that was James? Oh, uh, Diesel told us. Diesel, you say? Yes. Devious Diesel? Yes. Well, there goes your first problem, Thomas. Diesel said that he saw James bumping into you, you say? Yes. Emily also said last night that Diesel told her, too, about James bumping into her. And I think the same went for Toby, too. Mm-hmm. So? So what? Although I'm not sure, perhaps Diesel's the one who was behind this whole fight. Huh, that would make sense. Perhaps you're right. Although it seems too obvious and most likely the truth, perhaps Diesel was the one who caused the fallout for yesterday. You're good, Oliver. I know. Well then, I better go find them and put things right with my friends. Bye, Oliver! Thanks! Go get them, Thomas.